<laughs> Justin! What is it? I got a soda for you. Thank you so much! I bet you feel so stupid right now. Ah, look at our city. Feels like it's been a while, huh? Let's... What are you doing here? What? You've been fired for three fucking years! How did you not hear about this? Can I talk to someone about this? Talk to the manager or something, I don't know. Fucking... It's not up to me. Alright then. Ah, look at our city. It feels like it's been a while, huh? Let's take a look at how the boys are doing after what feels like some time. I'm sure they've got lots of adventures for us today. There's never any food in this house. Mario, I blame this on you. What did I do? You ate all the food. What? No, I didn't. Well, if it wasn't you, then who was it, hmm? That never happened. What never happened? That flashback. What are you talking about? Not important. What is important is that Mario ruined my life. Okay, what do you want me to do about it? I want you to go to the store and buy me some lunch. Why should I do it? I don't need food. Come on, Mario, you're already standing. No, I'm not. Oh, I won't stand next time, I guess. Thanks, buddy. When he gets home, I'm kicking his ass. Why? because I don't like him. Anyway, Andrew, can you take out the trash? Why should I do it? Because your room is fucking disgusting. It's not so bad. It's just not that bad. I don't care, just take it out. I'm not gonna clean it, it doesn't bother me. I didn't ask if it doesn't bother you, it's indecent to the others who live here not to. I fuck. No one will even notice it. What are you talking about? It's a walking pile of garbage. I think if I saw the face of God standing next to this, I'd be more shocked at this. It's not that bad, fuck! The end is nigh! What does that mean? It means the end is near! Oh no! That's right, here's my theory. Have you ever noticed that milk goes bad, but chocolate milk doesn't? I... I don't know if that's true. It is! Anyone who says otherwise is probably a fucking pedophile! Hmm... Okay. Have you ever noticed that sometimes there are clouds in the sky, but sometimes there aren't? I, I have. Okay. C uh, clearly I know too much. I'm gonna watch something more pleasant now. I'm gonna suck on these toes. Ah, uh, much better. 
Why the fuck are you talking to yourself? Um, what? Are you watching a foot fetish show? No! Man, I hate buying people lunch. But I'm a nice guy, so I'm doing it anyway. Um, alright. Yeah, that Justin guy's a real jerk. Sometimes I call him nuts and when he's not around. Because he smells like a nut sack. <laughs> uh, the bus is here now. Oh, I'm not going on the bus. This is just where I come to think about myself and my problems and stuff. I'm gonna go. Hey, leave him alone, you darn dogs! Hey, little doggy, can you hear me? Did those other dogs make you buy them lunch too? You're a good listener. You're my friend now. Say, you want to come to my house? How much longer do we have to sit here? I already told you. Not until Mario comes back with food. But I have to go to the bathroom. Trust me, suffering while waiting makes the food ten times better. I'm back! Did you miss me? Yes! About time! Final main bladder is about to explode! You were gone for like six hours, where the hell did you go? Oh yeah, that reminds me. I didn't bring home food, but I did bring back this little guy! Why do you hate me? Well, maybe you guys don't deserve the food! You haven't really been the nicest guys to me. Puppy over here understands my pain. I'll make you understand pain. Pain of my fists and claws, oh, you'll understand. Ow! Oh, stop it, Max! I can't eat this. It's rotten. No, don't! He's a human, like you and I! He's not, though. Guys, let Puppy eat his dog food in peace. Wait. Where's the dog food? That never happened either. What? Hey Mario, did you get the food? What's with the dead dog? Dead? Puppy was a good friend. I would never forget the time I spent with you. I felt I've known you my whole life, even if it may have been for six hours. But we had a lot of good memories in the last couple of hours. Whether it was grooming our hair, taking photos in the mall's photo booth, or even that time we drank smoothies. You had smoothies? I just wish we still had more time to spend before your passing. <laughs> yeah. He sure was a dog. Andrew, will you be so kind to buy us lunch? Since we know we can't trust Mario over here. Yeah, okay. No! I can't let it end like this! We still never went to that amusement park! <laughs> I'm going to take you and fix you in my science lab. 
the one I've always had. God, I can't focus with this clock going nuts. Hold on, I have to fix this. I fixed the clock and also finished this cure I was working on. Now I will test it on this sandwich. Hey, 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 I'm alive! It worked! It sure did! What are you working on, Mario? Bringing my dog back to life. Seems like a good guy to bring back. You're such a good friend, Mario. Thanks, sandwich. No problemo, Mariemo. Now to use it on the dog. Oh, well, I guess there's no hope for a puppy. At least you tried. That's all that matters now. Why don't I make you a sandwich? Isn't that weird for you? Don't worry about it. David? Is that you? <laughs> oh my gosh. Bobby? <laughs> it's just Bob now. <gasps> Whoa, th that was weird. You, you all right, man? You don't look so great. <laughs> oh, wh why'd you do that? <laughs> Andrew, you go up in order for us. We'll wait here. Okay, Maxwell. If he tries to make that my nickname, I'll call him Andy and he'll fucking cry. Hey, where are you going? Oh, there's a little turd baby in me and it's trying to escape and I think it's time I let it free. Well, since I'm already here, I might as well go down the street and buy my pornographic mags, the ones I read in public for some reason. Evening, Stevening. <laughs> Just kidding, buddy. Oh. I see you've got yourself another hangover there. <laughs> Just make sure your wife doesn't catch you going to these parties, man. Well, try some water. I hear it cures hangovers. Keep the change. What a dick. Am I being sexually harassed? Yes! Hey, hey, what are you doing here? Wait, no, no, get up, no, no! Ah! I think there's a guy getting raped in the bathroom. I would have said something, but I didn't want to get involved. Guys, you're not going to believe this, but this chick was just hitting on me, and she totally gave me a hickey. Check it out. <laughs> you got red on you. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a hickey. Ah, uh, never mind. You don't get it. I'm, like, referencing a movie. It's pretty funny. Andrew, I... <sighs> I don't know what you possibly could have ever done to have any girl do that to you. It was from Shaun of the Dead! Notice there's a shit ton of zombies out here? No. 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 You get out of here. What? Uh oh. Andrew, which girl gave you a hickey? Uh, that one.
You retard, that's a zombie. You're gonna have to die now. What? I'm gonna die a virgin? Huh, yeah, that really sucks, dude. Well, anyway, good luck with that. Wait, you can't leave me like this. What else can we do? We can't bring you with us, because you'll kill us too. I don't care, I'm about to die a fucking virgin. No, come back, please, help me get laid. Where should we go? We don't know where it's safe. Should we just go home? Maybe. I don't know, because, you know, what if we go home and then it's not safe? Waste of a walk. Waste of time. I'm not sure. It's getting late. We should probably find somewhere safe to sleep. Do you think Mario is okay right now? I have a feeling this is only just the beginning. That was the best movie I've ever seen! I agree. I really loved all the references to the first 30 movies. It's getting late. We should get some shut-eye. You don't have eyes, you fucking retard. Good night, Sandwich. Good night, Mario. We need to find somewhere zombies can't get us. Hmm. Let me try something real quick. Wow. How did you know there's a rope up here? I didn't. Honestly, I was about to leave you to die. Oh. Yeah. I gotta get laid! 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 <laughs> God. <laughs> I shouldn't have immediately started sprinting after they left me. Hmm. Well, there's probably no girls there, but I can get free food and a big gulp. <laughs> you have to pay for that. What? You have to pay for that. Are you serious? You have to pay for that. I kind of don't have any money due to the circumstances. Of which I will not mention by name. But, uh... You have to pay for that. I'm leaving. These hot dogs are... Cold! God damn it! How could they do me like this? What the fuck? I'm not gonna eat this shit! It's the reason why they're called fucking... Hey, uh, you gonna eat that? Duh! Just stay away from me, you fucking freak! Well, if you're gonna be a jerk about it, never mind then. Hey. My name is Veronica, by the way. Hi. So far, you're the only one I've seen alive. Oh, so this is like a resistance. Yeah, but we need more people, so right now it's just you and I. How'd you know I'd want to join? Well, if you said no, I'd have to kill you. Is, is that a joke? Yeah, it's a joke. Well, think of it as you doing me a favor since I saved you. <laughs> I am so in there. Are you okay? Oh, I, I was just laughing at your joke. Oh. So what was your life like before the apocalypse? The, my life? Uh, well, to be honest, I was kind of a badass. Really? Yeah, me and my brothers would go on all kinds of crazy adventures back then. Can you tell me some? 
Well, we did all kinds of things. Like we joined the army, we went underwater, we saved Christmas. Someone cloned us at one point and we had to kill the clones, you know, that sort of stuff. Weird. That all sounds kind of familiar. I don't know where you would have seen any of that. It was just me and my bros. What are you doing? All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Come take a weapon. Ooh, guns. I'll have great aim with these. We're gonna split up and look for other survivors. Try to find as many as possible that meet me in the car. Sounds good. No fucking way I'm gonna look for other people. It's just gonna be a bunch of other dudes who are just gonna try to steal her from me. Uh, I can't let her find anyone either. I should follow her. Oh my god, you're bleeding a lot. You think I don't know that? How did a zombie get you? I was taking care of all of them. Zombies? A gun did this to me. I was shot. Well, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do if you're already dying. Good luck. This one goes out to all you sorry pieces of shit. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I wasn't able to find anyone over here. <sighs> Any luck for you? I found some people, but the zombies were just quicker than me, I guess. Aww, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm sure we'll be okay with just us. I guess two is better than one. Yeah. <sighs> um, we should, wait. <coughs> we should probably rest. How are we gonna do that? Don't worry. I know a place where it's safe. It's a little bit of a drive, though. I'm okay with that. Her eyes. They're so yellow. Never seen eyes like that before. Oh, oh yeah, uh, let's go then. Before we go, can we get a picture? L like you and me? Yeah, for historical purposes. Yes! <sighs> I should have kept watching that show. <sighs> what show? I was watching a show about how the world's gonna end and all that. How would that help? This is not the end of the world! Use your indoor voice. I can hear you. I'm right next to you. Shut up, Max. This is serious. We're gonna die. And you're acting like it's no big deal. I see no reason to worry too much about it. It'll solve itself. You don't know that. But if this is just the beginning of the rest of our lives, which isn't gonna last long because we're severely unprepared and autistic. Justin, we've had worse retarded misadventures than this, such as... Mm-mm-mm. Mm. I am gonna drink my Mountain Dew Ice. Because that's what I drink. Justin, we have more important things to deal with right now. Like what? Wait, are we in space? When, uh, when did that happen? Grr, I'm so grumpy about this! Uh, I'm so grumpy about you! Well, I'm more grumpy about you! 
Hey, can one of you guys call my mom? I'm lost. Uh, yeah, I can. Never mind. Oh. Hey, I got tickets to Six Flags if you guys want to go. Oh my god! Oh shit! Yeah! Look, just get some sleep and you'll forget all about it in the morning. <sighs> I hope so. Justin. Hey, Justin. Yeah? Do you think the zombified people can get horny and have sex with each other? Or maybe rape the non-zombified people? Why would you ask me something like that? Just let me sleep. We can make it feel a little bit cozier if you want. Ah, that's better. Her hair. It's beautiful. It's so long and luscious. I can't believe my eyes. Your hair is long. <laughs> Don't remind me. I was planning on getting a haircut, but then the world went to shit. I don't cut my hair that often, so you don't need to feel alone or anything. It's okay. I've always felt alone. What do you mean? Well, if you don't mind me opening up about my past, I could tell you about my life before all this. I don't mind. Besides, I already told you about my life. I should know about yours. Growing up, my family had absurdly high expectations of me. <sighs> it's common in mushroom families. I lived with my brother and grandma. My brother worked a lot, so it was mostly me taking care of her. It wasn't really difficult or anything, but it was a lot of responsibilities, especially for someone of my age. They wanted me to do well in school, and I would never disobey. Not that I could. My family never really let me socialize, and would kill me if I had a boyfriend. So she's a virgin! During my youth, all I did was keep up with my studies, take care of my grandma, and stay out of trouble. In some ways, I'm glad this apocalypse happens. At least now I'm free to make my own decisions. Wow, that's a lot. Oh, I'm sorry if I rambled a bit or anything. No, no. It's really okay. Me and my brothers, we we didn't really go on all those crazy adventures I told you about earlier. Back at home, everyone would insult me, berate me, fart on me. If my life's going to shit now because of an apocalypse, I wanted to sound like it wasn't shit to begin with. Sorry. No, it's okay, I understand. I feel the same way. Think of it like I do. At least now, no one can hold you back from being your best self. No one has ever told me anything like that. I've never been able to tell anyone anything like this. Veronica, before we do anything else together, I shall let you know something. What is it? I actually got bit before you came to save me. I guess it just hasn't taken over my body yet. Oh. That's it? Maybe it's a good thing we never found any survivors, huh? Huh. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, what do you... <laughs> be, be careful. No one's ever touched me there before. Uh... <clears throat> How's that? Oh my god! <laughs> Shh. 
sandwich. I had an accident. It's okay, Mario. Everyone has accidents sometimes. Tell you what, I'll prepare a bath for you and make your favorite breakfast so you can feel better. I finished my breakfast. Good job. Do you want to play a game? Sure. Make your move, Mario. I don't know how to play chess. Okay, let's play Battleship. I don't know how to play that either. Mario, I think you're letting life slip by. What? You gotta live life to the fullest. I mean, look at me. I'm a talking sandwich who's only been alive for a day. I can play Battleship. Let's go for a walk and learn something together. Yeah, let's do that. Dear God! I should have worn a jacket. It's chilly out. Also, there's zombies everywhere. Wait. What are we gonna- Wait. What are we gonna do, Mario? We're gonna go inside. I mean, what else can we do? I'm gonna go close the garage door first. Puppy's gone! Oh no, I did this. Okay, Sandwich, we're gonna stop these zombies. And I know exactly how. I anticipated this happening for a long time, so I already have a cure. And because I'm a dangerous psychopath, I froze them into bullets and bombs so I can shoot a zombie while curing a zombie. Wouldn't they die from bullet wounds? Well, hospitals exist, so I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Pack up the sandwich, cause we're gonna hit the town. I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to set the flame in your house. Oh, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> We can't stay here. Mazard? Sup, homies. You're alive? Is it safe here? Yeah, there's a few people inside. Come in, we just got snacks. Mazard, that's all you had to say. All right, let's, let's go inside then before we die, yeah? Help! Great, it's game. My favorite person ever. For whatever reason, I get the feeling that wasn't a sincere comment. Mazard, help! Zombies got in here and I'm the only one left alive! Oh, nice going, Gabe. I leave for two seconds and already everyone's a zombie. Please help! I don't know how much longer I can hold them off! You know, I don't think I should. What? You're really being selfish right now. I go out there and almost die to get everyone snacks, and you let everyone die on me. And I don't see why I should share the snacks I bought with someone who clearly doesn't put anyone else's life into consideration. I didn't let them die. There was nothing I could do. I don't know. You sound pretty selfish right now. I thought you had, like, slime powers. Can't you make yourself super buff and get rid of them? Oh yeah, I didn't think of that. Yeah, straight the fuck up, I'll roof this shit. A fucking 360 on this pussy, I don't give a fuck. I kick this motherfucking uh -huh. ball over the fence. No shoes on. Home. I know you see me on the TV, uh -huh. looking like a hunk of beef. When ah! We 
need to find a way to lure off the zombies. Hmm. Oh, what if we, uh, we like disguise one of us as a zombie and we run somewhere and they think we're a zombie so they're gonna follow, right? Makes sense. Yeah? Yeah? Why are you guys looking at me like that? You're already in disguise. What? How did you do that? It'll be real quick. Just try to slip past them after you get them away. Come back here. Huh. Okay. Okay, Mazard. Do you know how to stop this? What? No. Why would I? Because you know spells and all that. This is out of my jurisdiction, unfortunately. What? Why? This is leaning more to the science fiction side of things, and less of the magic side. Hmm. Okay, to me it just seems like you're being lazy, but I'm no wizard, so what do I know? Do you know any other safe places to hide? There's an amusement park down the road we can hide at. No. What do you mean, no? Okay, right now, we have our feet in Ed's World Water. We step into that amusement park, and we're in the deep end. Fair enough. See? Told you you can do it. I'll get the disguise off of you. Don't hold a grudge. Oh, great. What's the problem? What do you think the problem is? Ah. Yes, this is the Hoagie. That's my code name. But now that I'm saying it out loud, I'm, I'm embarrassed. Uh, yeah. Anyway. So I'm bringing the bomb with me to our city square. When I call, you come help me. <laughs> my only chance to fix everything. Sandwich! Today was pretty eventful. A girl touched me. I probably ate a man. You should lash out. Now I grow the rock with you. Hey, is that? It's me, Mark. So are we going home? I need a nap. Amen to that. Puppy. Wait. I know what I must do. It was the right thing to do, right, Sandwich? Where'd Sandwich go? Then I'm rapping. Uh. Oh my!
my god, Veronica, are you okay? Oh my god, she's dead. <laughs> oh man, I got a cold now. The tragic tale of the four warriors comes to an end. For now, anyways. As they walk home, everyone carries a heavy weight on their shoulders. Some, heavier than others, but they all feel as if they had lost something, whether it be love, friendship, time, or a sandwich. Growth often comes from our most difficult experiences, and eventually, all wounds heal. At the end of the day, my penis is very big. And we still don't have any food in the fridge, and we never ate at that restaurant. Why don't you eat my butthole? Hey, <laughs> right, brother. What the fuck? We have a dog? Oh, that's right. We have a dog already. Well, that solves everything. Man, that's just great. You know you manipulated her, right? You motherfucker, I'll kill you! I'll kill you! <laughs> <laughs>